Okay, so what is debugging and how do you do it? Well, essentially debugging is the process of making sure the code that you wrote works exactly how you intended it to. So you'll often find that there will be errors in your code. And in fact, we've actually been debugging since the very first video. So let me give you an example of debugging real quickly. Uh, you may remember that in the very first video we tried to do print pizza and we got output of nil, which is not exactly what we wanted. And then we learned, oh, you actually need to have uh, quotes uh, for the pizza and then it will output pizza. That is a form of debugging because you had a problem and then you had to figure out how to solve it. Another common one you'll see, another common uh, thing you'll see a lot of times that you'll run into problems is you'll have a variable like my variable and we'll call this, um, you know, equal to one, two, three, four, right? And then if my var is equal to one, two, three, four, then print hello, like that and then end, right? And we run this and we get an error, then expected near equal sign. Well, why would we that throw an error? Because we obviously have a then, and if we have an if statement, we need a then. So why is it throwing an error? Well, the reason in this case is because uh, we actually want to use double quotes to equate for equality and not single quotes. So then if we run it, we get hello, like how we would expect. So those are two examples of debugging, but what is a very good process to go through? Well, uh, I call it eat. Why? Because food is tasty. So the basic process is first we want to evaluate uh, and then we want to assess and we want to test. So evaluate. What that is, is finding out the exact reason for the bug. As we saw over here, we'll always get out some sort of error message in the console whenever there's a bug or specifically a syntax error. Sometimes it might just be that your code is not working how you thought it would. And that is always a bit harder. But so you'll see often in the console, you'll get some sort of error message that tells you exactly what is the syntax error going on. When you want to evaluate what the bug is, you're finding specifically what is wrong. Because it says then expected near equal sign, so you might think, oh, maybe it's if do end. So you try do, and then you run it, and you get the same error even though it's supposed to be do now. So obviously what we thought is not working. And so you have to try to narrow down what the error you're looking for is. And when you're first starting out, nine times out of 10, the error will be that you mistype something. Like I've had times where um, I will accidentally like mistype and then maybe instead of like expressions, I'll like type express expressions like that. And then I'll have to go through and find out, oh, I just misspelled it like that um, or misspelled it again. And if for some reason like there's no error, but the code is running and it's not giving the desired output, one of the common strategies I use literally all the time is to print out the different variables and the different inputs to make sure that what I expect is happening is actually happening. So if you go back to this example, oh, then is it expecting your equal sign? Um, like I might say, oh, maybe it's because my var is not what I expect it to be. So I will print out my var. Uh, usually I'll say like my var, like this with a comma, that way you can actually see what I'm printing out over here. And we still get the same error and it's not even printing that out. So we know that's not the problem. So then you just have to narrow it down, test, uh, use console logs, double check your spelling, double check the actual syntax to make sure it is working exactly how you think it should be. And once you find the exact error that you need to do, you need to assess how to fix it. If it's a syntax error like missing an equal sign, it's really simple to just add the equal sign, um, go on and continue with your life. If it's harder, like sometimes it'll be an algorithmic bug because what you're conceptually thinking about is not exactly what is needed for this specific situation like a common one uh, that you might have done in last time's homework, right? Uh, for the for loop, for i equals one to 10, right? And then we wanna increment it by one, do, end. And we wanna print out all the odds. Well, you might say, well, maybe we could just print i times two and that'll get all the odd numbers between one and 10. You run it, oops, gotta fix this. Uh, and then you run it and you get all the odd numbers, or all the even numbers, sorry, I misspoke, all the even numbers up to 20, and that's not what you want. And so maybe you think, oh, I wanna change this back to five now. And ta-da, now we get all of it. Um, in fact, a simpler solution is to do that, just increment it by two instead of multiply by two, and that'll get you all the odd numbers. So we could do that, and then we get it all the way to 10. Again, that was actually some debugging I did right live because I, in my head, misconceptualized what I was doing and then I had to figure out, okay, given the output, why is it not working? How do I reassess the algorithm I'm using to deliver the correct results? And finally is testing it. Test, 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 test. You saw many times I hit the run button 
to see if what I thought was happening was actually happening. And if you test it and it works how it is, great, you fixed the bug. If not, you need to start the process of evaluating, assessing, and then testing again. And so that's how you want to debug any code you ever work with.